Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, yes, tamu sana. Azimio has identified a five-member team, a team that will come up with the most preferred running mate to Raila Molo Odinga, out of which they will just forward it to Azimio Council, shared by President Uhuru Kenyatta, that will now officially pick or nominate Raila Odinga's running mate. And that latest political move is causing a lot of ripples in the political stage. Leaders and Kenyans are talking about that. Some few hours ago, Nyeri Town Member of Parliament, Ngunjiri Wambugu, a very close ally of President Uru Kenyatta and a staunch defender of the president, taking to his social media accounts, had this to say. Ngunjiri Wambugu, Mount Kenya region has 8 million votes. Raila has 30% so far, 2.4 million. When we announce the DP for Mount Kenya, it will get to 40%, 3.6 million. Once Uhuru hits the ground, it will get to 55%, 4.4 million. Plan accordingly. That's Gunjiri Wambugu's post some few hours ago. And that post has really been generating a lot of heated political debate mm, across the board. There is one person by the name Samuel Nderitu. Nderitu actually commented this. Let Ruto continue dreaming of Mount Kenya votes. Odaku primaries had a turnout of 10%, clear indication that Ruto will get 10% of Mount Kenya votes. That's a fact, as indicated from party primaries, all others are empty theories. Fact, 10% done and dusted. Then Francis Ndumu, togetherness can't see logic, no matter how logic it is. Luya vote will be 90% Railers, Kisi same 90%, Kambas we say 70%, Central most likely be shared 50-50. Remind them that insults won't vote. 90% of leading insulters like Mahura Wamuchomba Jagwa Warugulu, Waruguru fell by the wayside despite targeting insults to president as their main agenda. And then Benson Kimuku continue dreaming. We are waiting for Uhunye to come and spoil Raila's votes. When Uhunye comes, Ruto definitely will carry the day. Those are just but a few of the comments I picked from the thousands of comments. And likely if you go through the other comments, there are those who strongly believe that the just concluded Uda nominations of the mountain is a clear indication that the mountain is very slippery for William Ruto and that the mountain might finally dump William Ruto. There are those who have also of a very strong opinion that if Uhuru Kenyatta goes to the mountain, then he will just maybe spoil chances for Raila Molo Odinga. So in this video, I want us to dissect all that to get the clearest picture, or rather the, more, the, the, the actual picture of the true political reality on the mountain assuming the president goes there to start his campaigns and assuming Raila Molo Odinga picks a running mate from the mountain. That's going to be our analysis and discussion in this video right now. In case you've bumped here for the very first time, kindly subscribe, give this video a like. Thank you, God bless you. Yes. Assuming Raila Odinga picks a running mate from the mountain and then the president goes to the mountain to campaign for Raila Molo Odinga, there are some political implications of those moves. Let's start with the fact of the president going to the mountain to campaign for Raila Molo Odinga. I know a good majority of you will agree with me here 
that William Ruto is still leading on the mountain because he has been solely the only presidential candidate aggressively campaigning on the mountain since 2018. That has made William Ruto popular on the mountain. And it's only commonsensical that when President Uhuru Kenyatta steps foot on the mountain to persuade his people to aggressively campaign for Raila Molo Odinga, it's only commonsensical that Raila's popularity will rise on the mountain. In fact, Raila's popularity can even explode on the mountain. Those are just possibilities. And I'm saying that because as I talk right now, there is no leader who has come up or rather emerged on the mountain as an alternative political and ethnic kingpin to Uhuru Kenyatta. Uhuru Kenyatta still remains the ethnic and political kingpin of the mountain. So his words, I believe, carries a lot of weight. And just to prove what I'm saying, before the likes of Raila Odinga declared their intention to contest for the presidency, William Ruto's popularity, in fact, William Ruto was leading in all the eight provinces, including in Nyanza, in Luo Nyanza. William Ruto was leading even in Luo Nyanza, according to the opinion polls that were being done at that time before Raila declared his candidature. Upon Raila Odinga declaring his candidature, Raila has overtaken William Ruto in six out of the eight provinces in just a, a span of just some few months. You can just see that kind of a shift. So I believe that when the president will step foot on the mountain to campaign for Raila Molo Odinga, Raila's popularity might even explode on the mountain. Raila might even actually overtake William Ruto on the mountain. Yes. And then on the issue of Raila Odinga picking or appointing a running mate from the mountain, on that a majority of you here, I know will disagree with me. And I know you have been disagreeing with me on that. I personally don't believe that Raila picking a running mate from the mountain might actually change things on the mountain. And I'm saying that because as long as President Uru Kenyatta supports Raila Molo Odinga, then Raila picking a running mate from the mountain or not will not change anything. In fact, the situation Raila is and the situation William Ruto is are quite different. William Ruto needs a running mate, a must, a, a running mate from the mountain for him to have some serious, or rather some serious, to make some serious impacts on the mountain. And that is so because William Ruto fell out with the ethnic and political kingpin of the mountain region. So William Ruto must pick somebody from the mountain to endear himself to the good people of Mount Kenya. But in the case of Raila Odinga, Uhuru Kenyatta is doing Raila's bidding with the mountain people. So Raila, it, it won't matter according to me whether Raila picks a running mate from the mountain or not. And I know Kenyans can still remember what happened in 2013 when Musale Mudavadi picked Jeremiah Kioni as his running mate. Jeremiah Kioni could not even influence his own home area. The polling station actually voted to even vote for Musale Mudavadi. So I'm trying to say Raila picking a running mate from the mountain might not might make a very insignificant difference. The person who will make the the difference is when Uru Kenyatta will step foot on the mountain. So I partly disagree with Ngujiru Amhubu that maybe Raila picking a running mate from the mountain can maybe improve Raila's chances. I disagree partly with him on that. But I'm of a very strong opinion that when the president will step foot on the mountain. To start, to start aggressively campaigning for Raila Molo Odinga, then Raila's popularity might even end up exploding on the mountain. And that's largely what I've been saying in this YouTube channel. I'm one of those few who believes that the mountain most likely to the last person will vote the direction 
Uhuru Kenyatta will actually show them. Eh? As, as a keen political ob observer, I believe we should actually be looking at the bigger picture, not on what is currently happening. I know this, the situation as it is currently on the mountain might be very deceptive. And I'm saying it might be deceptive because if you look at William Ruto, William Ruto has got a lot of skeletons in his closet as how he has dealt with the mountain people. And now when real politics starts, those skeletons will be unearthed. And I'm seeing a very negative narrative being driven on the mountain against William Ruto. And that narrative, in my considered opinion, will work against William Ruto. Yes. So I strongly believe that if if Raila now, in fact, as, as things are on, on the mountain now, Raila commands over 30% on the mountain. That is a fact. In fact, some opinion polls are even showing Raila commanding uh, as high as 38%. And already the president has not stepped foot there. And some few days ago, about three or four days ago, the president indicated that when campaign period will start officially, that's next month, he will be going directly on the mountain to campaign for Raila Molokuinda. So I strongly believe that when that happens, Raila might even eventually overtake Ruto on the mountain. That's my take, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what you think. So let me just stop it there for today. In case you've bumped here for the very first time, subscribe, give this video a like. Stay tuned for our next video.